welcome to programming credit today in this video i will ask some of the questions related to northumbria university to ishan he is doing his masters from uh, northumbria university so he was kind enough to uh, agree to join this interview sort of thing and he'll be answering a lot of questions here and i hope you will get some insights about northumbria university because i've been getting some of the questions related to the university and I thought uh, why not invite uh, someone from the university and answer these questions uh, themselves because obviously they know things from the inside of the university. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this uh, video is gonna help you. But as always, before moving further, if you are new here, if you can subscribe to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of Programming Cattle family. And also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys. So with that being said, let's start the interview. Hello, Shan. Uh, I would like to ask you some of the questions uh, now that you are doing your course from Northumbria University and I've been getting a lot of questions related to that university. So I have some questions to ask you and uh, I'm really thankful for you to join this uh, meeting and uh, give us some answers. So yeah, uh, first let's start with a little bit of your introduction and background, your past experience and all those things. Uh, yeah, I would start uh, with like a uh... I'm doing my master's in artificial intelligence here at Northumbria University. And uh, I, before that, I have done my bachelor's in computer science. And uh, I got, you know, uh, six months of experience as a full stack web developer before. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm pursuing my master's here at Northumbria. Yeah, the university is good. And I, I find the course is very helpful and engaging. That's great. Um, and also, uh... <clears throat> Have you taken uh, do you have placement here and all uh, in your course or do uh, you have an option uh yeah we, we do have an option for placement here but i have not opted for it okay okay uh because i think it's for january intake students mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. i'm not I, i'm i'm little i'm not clear on that but yeah mm -hmm. they do offer a placement year options okay okay Perfect. um so yeah why did you choose uh Northumbria university uh, did you come from uh, some counselors or did you choose your universities on your own uh no the i chose the university on my own because I, when i was researching the, the university there were i selected many universities and uh, i gave northumbria university as my top priority because it has a very decent ranking and and the fees is very affordable and uh, the major point that i that built my strong interest towards northumbria was that the uh, when I read the student reviews, the student reviews were very good in terms of for Northumbria University. Okay. And I really like the course content and the course structure. Mm -hmm. so that's and also this I, place is also really good, Newcastle. So yeah, that, this, place is very, this place is very good. Yeah, very affordable, very student friendly city, Newcastle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And are you satisfied with the course content? Like you told, your preference was Newcastle. Uh, your preference was Northumbria University because of the course content and stuff. So yes, you were uh, satisfied. But when we look from uh, the outside uh, and when we just look at to look onto the uh, website and see course content, we feel okay, this is good. But when we actually go to the university and when we yeah. start reading, we actually get to know what all what all things we are covering. So are you satisfied with that? I, uh, you know, uh, I'm satisfied with some of the modules. But you know, some of the modules were I'm not that satisfied. For example, mm -hmm. there was a module called program design and implementation in which we were taught the basic Java. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we require any Java programming for artificial intelligence because most of it is done in R or Python. Mm -hmm. So that was the only subject that I was not satisfied with. And rest of all, all the modules were very satisfactory, especially the modules like AI Studio and AI and Digital Technologies, with which they teach about to various digital technologies which accommodate mm -hmm. AI to become successful like cybersecurity and uh, the cloud computing, big data, IoT. And uh, apart from that, there was also a module called system analysis and design in which uh, we were taught how a basic architecture of a system is built and how to present a system analysis and design report. Yeah, the course content was very satisfactory. That's great. And how many total modules do you have? Uh, I got uh, six modules. It was like first was AI Studio, AI and Digital Technologies. Uh, program design and implementation, research and project management, intelligent user interfaces, and system analysis and design. So and the system and uh, no, the intelligent user and interfaces was also Microsoft accredited. Mm -hmm. so, so you get additional all, certificate as well. 
yeah, I even I got additional certificates for from from Microsoft. Okay, that's, like that's really I got AI and AI nine hundred certification and DP nine hundred certification from Microsoft. Hmm. That's really good, actually. Um, and also, uh, what is the average duration of each module? Uh, it's about uh, average duration is about three months. Mm -hmm. Like we got three semesters in one year. Like first semester we are introduced to three subjects, like mm -hmm. three modules, and another semester we all are introduced to three other new modules. Okay, yeah, that's really good. I mean, you get a lot of time to cover things in particular modules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we get a lot of times to cover a lot of time to cover things, and you know the course content is uh, you know, really very not that hard, and not that you know something a person won't understand there mm -hmm. are teachers to help you and even the assessments brief so what you you have to do in the assessment is very loud and very clear mm. is it totally a practical base or do you have to go for exams as well written exams or things i uh, know it was a uh, totally practical base and uh, all, all of the module marks were you know consolidated into one final mm -hmm. assessment that we need to submit at the end of the semester okay yeah that's really good um, and uh, did you get any exposure to work on real world project? Uh, there, I got an option, but uh, I, I would not say that I worked on a real world project because mm -hmm. uh, in our system analysis and design, we were made a group of five people that we need to work on a project. If we manage to find a client, mm -hmm. then we can work on their real world project. But in our case, we were not able to find any client. So we worked on, we worked uh, like, a, we've created a fictional client, client and we work on that project. So yeah, if we, if, if we guys can manage, if guys can manage to find a real world client mm -hmm. and work on that, their project, then I, they would have got a real world project exposure. I remember you so were talking market. about uh, Granger town, Granger market, the yeah. project you were about to do. So was that the same thing? Uh, no, it was the part of my other module, uh, but the project was very interesting that we need to go to Granger Market mm -hmm. and uh, do a complete analysis like uh, what the shop owners are lacking behind and what other technologies that we can use to boost their business and boost their sales. Mm -hmm. So what I did, I went to market, went to the market and asked some of, have a chat with the little shopkeepers and little chat with uh, what the customers over there. And I came to a conclusion about a, something called recommendation system and an Android application for that market. So it was a very groundbreaking and real world oriented project. Yeah. It was actually you went to the market and you talked to people yeah. and you solved a real world problem. So yeah, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, because even because we had something like that uh, data science in the wild. So where we yeah. uh, we we talked to different uh, stakeholders and we designed few things. Yeah. So these kind of things actually give us a very good understanding of how things are actually uh, yeah. being implemented in the real world. So yeah. Yeah, it, because it's like what you need to do exactly. Because if you if you learn ton of things and you're not using it in a practical or, or a ground reality basis, it's it's like you know it's having no point of that knowledge. When you go and when you work on a real world project and you try to solve real world problems, it's it literally makes a difference there. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, and also uh, now let's move on to the next question, which is uh, the fees. Uh, what is the fees of the course and are there any scholarships? Uh, yeah, the complete fees of the course is uh, 16,000 pounds and mm -hmm. uh, I was offered a scholarship of 2,000 pounds. So yeah, there's a scholarship of 2,000 pounds, but if, uh, if the candidate or if the student is extraordinary, they can often, often get a scholarship of around 4,000 pounds as well. Okay, that's good. And also there are many uh, universal scholarships like uh, uh, Commonwealth and uh, yeah. Shevin and there are many uh, other scholarships yeah. as well. Nice. So yeah, again, uh, the fees is actually affordable if we consider other universities. If we just consider, yeah. compare it with the Newcastle University as well, it's actually significantly yeah. cheaper than uh, Newcastle University. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. Um, so yeah, uh, again, uh, it is very subjective uh, from people's perspective, if it is worth or not, because some people will be ready to pay 25,000 pounds and uh, it will be worth for them. But some people will not feel like 16,000 pounds is worth paying for a course. So from your perspective, do you think it was worth uh, paying 16,000 uh, 16, pounds or 14,000 pounds for this course? And 
were you able to learn things and were you able to uh, get all the opportunities which you were expecting and whatever was your expectation from the course are you satisfied with all the, everything uh you know uh i would like to say that uh, yeah the course was satisfactory and i think my uh, uh the 14000 pounds fees for worth it because of all the international experience and all the international exposure that i got and it's like uh, having a chat with the the module leaders who are you know a very good uh, professor professors and known worldwide mm-hmm. even my one of my professor he got more than 10000 citations that's really remarkable and, yeah he, he and uh, you know i'm i'm currently i'm on, I'm, I'm doing my masters project uh, under him mm-hmm. so yeah it's it's uh, if you want to have an international exposure and uh, have feel how international universities and it feels like how, because in the terms of knowledge it was good the modules were very uh, i would say very knowledgeable and uh, lastly i would say that uh, even the all the resources that you get for example the library resources and the the feel of international university and uh, representing yourself internationally is a very mm-hmm. good opportunity and i think a 14000 pounds of what but yeah. uh, on the only thing i feel that the course duration is very short mm-hmm. for one year that you know you have to cover a lot of things in one year so if the course duration would be like one and a half year or on two years the 14000 mm-hmm. pounds would be a bang for a buck yeah i totally agree with that because we are covering so many things in just one year so if someone who is very new to this field i yeah. still think it will be hard for them to go for but then if people are dedicating time so it's not unmanageable but then it it would take a lot of effort i totally yeah. agree with you uh, and also uh, while we are on this topic uh, did you get uh, did you take some help from your career service team like resume and all those things so uh yeah yeah these things you know we think are very those career services team they are remarkable they will help you in everything for example mm-hmm. i altered my cv many times i you know i they oh, oh they always told me that this is not right with your cv and this is not wrong with your cv this is not this is wrong with your cv so yeah these these those career teams were very helpful in terms of creating a cv mm-hmm. and even when you are applying for a job you can go to them and ask how should you have prepared for the interviews and they'll help you with that so okay. they, they those guys were very helpful too okay that's good i mean career service team is one of the very important aspect of a university because ultimately after completion of the course we'll be looking for job yeah. and stuff so it's yeah. important to have a good and helpful career service team yeah even at northumbria they gave you access after 5 years after your graduation Hmm, for all the career different. services yeah mm-hmm. you can access all the career services after 5 years also that's amazing for your newcastle university is 3 years i think yeah so considering that it's a really good deal yeah nice uh, so yeah i mean these were the questions which i had uh, do you have any advice or anything which you would like to add and people who are joining your course or maybe newcastle or uh, northumbria university in general so do you have any advice to them uh my uh, you know the only advice that would i give is you know stay in touch with your module leaders and uh, stay in touch with your library resources like career services because these things are really helpful mm-hmm. and you can book a career services as many times as you like if you're not satisfied you can just you know book it again and they those guys are really very friendly they don't have any issues if you are coming to them you know one time or 10 times they'll help True. you they'll help you or with all the things they they are that they can uh, anything that a uh, student should do after joining the course like first few months that they should actually yeah. do uh, first few months because uh, uh, you know when you join the course and when, when your classes start you even in in the first of i think second week you know what you're going to do in the final assessment mm-hmm. so Uh, you know i will advise you that if you go to the assessments brief in the starting of the module and if you plan what you're going to do as your final final assessment for that particular module it would be a really good because uh, at the end if you start uh, very late you're going to be in very big trouble mm, true so the best thing is that if you, whenever you get your new assi- assessment unlocked go to the assessment brief 
ask the professor if you didn't understand anything because uh, in north cumbria you get a very decent amount of time to complete your assessments mm -hmm. like for example uh, for one module if your assessment is unlocked in first week you get whole three months to do that assessments that's really good and, and some some modules even have assessment in parts so one assessment is carries like one assessment will carry 50 percent of the module marks and it will be unlocked in the first week and the, another assessment will be unlocked in the fifth or sixth week mm -hmm. because the whole duration of the i think one module is 12 weeks mm -hmm. so my only piece of advice is do not start doing your assessments very late because you will be in very big trouble because these kind of assessments you will won't be able to complete in one week or two weeks they take True. a lot of time and a lot of research exactly i mean i have i have put this uh, point forward in one of my videos also where i was talking about in india when we, we had these exams we used to just read a one one night before and yeah. we used to do all those things so it was fine but here it's not like that we have to actually it's work on like a that. whole project and then there is a report also so there are a lot of yeah. things which are going on and uh, if you think like you will be able to do it in just one week in the last yeah. moment it is not possible at all it's not possible and uh, it, because you got only one year so there is a very less time of enjoyment so if you know i would suggest that if new guys new students who are coming here just study first do not you know waste your time in uh, traveling or exploring new things going to you know going to bars or parties because you are here to study so focus on your studies first and if you get time and if you are going everything is going about into your plan and you you think that you're going to finish your assessments before time then you can do whatever you want but first of yeah. all give your first priority to studies i totally because... agree and, and also we get uh breaks in between also so it's not yeah. like uh, you don't get any time for enjoyment but then you have to manage your things and you are coming yeah. here for studies and that should be your top priority so i totally agree yeah, that, that should be yeah, exactly because you don't you we won't get enough time for studies because here yeah, you have to do everything on your own you have to cook your own food clean your own dishes clean exactly. your own clothes yeah so it, it takes a lot of time I, it, it okay. I mean i i can relate to it because when i came here i didn't know anything i mean i didn't know how to cook i didn't know anything yeah. so it was really hard for me so i got used to cooking and now i'm cooking more than often more than often yeah so yeah we get used to but yeah uh, yeah we, we have to plan everything yeah, because, you know, uh, when I came here, I know how to cook, I know how to do many things, but, you know, sometimes we feel there is a so lack of time, we end up eating ready-made food or ordering stuff from outside, but, you know, ordering stuff from outside, it's it's really expensive, though. I agree. In, yeah, in India, you can easily, you know, fill up your stomach in 500 rupees or more less than 500 Even less rupees, than right? that, yeah. Even <laughs> less than that, according uh, half in the in 250 rupees you can fill your stomach yeah. very nicely but it has it's like 2.5 pounds Easy. yeah it's nothing <laughs> yeah it's just a bottle of coke here. exactly so yeah that is that is a very good advice i mean i totally yeah. agree with that so yeah these were the questions which i had uh and thank you so much for joining and answering all the yeah. questions it's and a, a, uh i will yeah. also leave your uh linkedin profile uh, link in the description so that if somebody has some question they can reach out to you or yeah, they sure. can also ask the question in the comment section and if you tend to watch this video you can reply <laughs> to them if you like yeah <laughs> yeah i, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will try my best to reply to them so i will yeah. definitely so yeah well, thank you so much for joining <laughs> yeah thank you all right have a nice see day. you see you too bye, bye. so this is it thanks uh, ishan again for uh, joining this uh, conversation and uh, I hope you guys found this video insightful. If you did, uh, again, uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, post your comments in the comment section. Ishan will be more than happy to reply to you guys and you can reach out to him on his uh, LinkedIn profile. Link is in the description again. So yeah, uh, this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment, all those good things. You can download data science notes uh, link is in the description you can join our telegram group as well there we always have these useful discussions going on and uh, yeah this is it so see you in the next video bye happy learning <laughs>